If you're interested in using a piston pump to fertilize your plants, this Debaco University video is for you. All right, let's get into using a piston pump fertilizer injector for cannabis production. Now, as we can see here in this commercial operation, a lot of commercial operations use more than just one. They use a lot of them. These are dosatrons. Some people just refer to them as dosatrons, but that is kind of a name brand. There are some other options of chemi injector and many, many others, but dosatron is kind of the name brand. You can see here each one hooked up to a different fertilizer tank, allowing different valves to be controlled, really allowing for efficient method of fertilization to the plants and this is why this is so popular used in cannabis production facilities. So first off what we're looking at here we're looking at the flow inside the pump and reciprocating pumps are pumps in which a piston or a diaphragm displaces a given amount of chemical with each stroke. The change in internal volume of the pump creates high pressure, which forces chemicals into the discharge pipe. So what we're kind of seeing here is we have our concentrated solution down here at the bottom. It's being brought up through a suction force. It's being mixed with the water through a piston, and then the blended solution is going out to the plants. These make a very distinctive clicking sound as that pump comes up and down, up and down, up and down, and it will change with the rate of the flow. If you can increase the flow rate, the piston will go up faster. If you decrease the rate of flow, the piston will go up slower. And what that is doing is that's allowing for a very consistent amount of fertilizer to be added to this mixing area here. Now it's important you have a pressure regulator and um, also have a filter uh, so you're not having any clogging issues, as well as a check valve to prevent any backflow, but these are very precise methods of injecting fertilizer to irrigation water. Now the basic operation of the piston pump is similar to that of the cy cylinder in an automobile engine. Kind of the compression stroke and increase and decrease to power stroke. The initial stroke, the chemical enters the cylinder through the uh, suction check valve, we see down here. And a compression stroke, the chemical is forced into the discharge line, be located over here, um, through the discharge check valve. And this is water flow driven, which is great because it offers consistent dilution rates and no needed add for any electricity or any other inputs. Simply the flow of water will allow this pump to work just fine. So it also offers self-correction. So most piston pumps are driven by the flowing water through the injector that drives the motion of the pump, as I mentioned earlier. The movement of the piston will vary with the speed of the water flow, which is great because it self-regulates. Uh, so this self-corrects and ensures very consistent dil uh, dilution rates and very consistent um, rates given to the plants. The larger piston is driven by the pressure of the irrigation system. The smaller injects a chemical into the irrigation line, and all of this simply works with water pressure. However, this is one of the downfalls is there are some moving parts that can wear over time, particularly with uh, excessive use. Now there's also an example here of a grower setup and it shows the fertilizer uh, injector here along with a, a pre-filter. So you can have your kind of pre-filter going through and ensuring that you're filtering out any contaminants so you're not going to wear this out uh, as quickly. You have a pressure valve located before and after, again, to help regulate and make sure there's no pressure loss. Fertilizer concentration tank located right down here. A water bypass, if you did want, not want to add any in fertilizer injector, had a problem, wanted to uh, remove it from the system, a little bypass uh, valve there. Also hooked up to here a timer and a post-injection filter as well to prevent anything that may have get pulled up in the line before it enters your irrigation system, particularly important with drip irrigation. But this kind of shows you a setup uh, and how they can be used in a small um, homeowner operation as well as a large commercial operation. So it offers a lot of good consistency, which is part of the reason why they're so popular.